Thank you all so very, very much. Wow, that was quite a wonderful, wonderful welcome. Just as the same way that you have welcomed me all over the state. Just the same cheers that you've given me as we've gone into a room together or attacked a problem together or planned a strategy together. You have been there. And I love each and every one of you. And I'll repeat what Governor Rail had told me when I first started running. She said, you are going to love the people of Connecticut when you can get out and meet them. And I do. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank all of you. So there is no way that I could individually start to thank everyone, the folks on this stage, my wonderful family that are all here with me tonight, friends and relatives who have come in from out of town, uh, great supporters all through the campaign. And I would really rather have won. <laughs> I would really rather have won. But we gave it an incredibly, incredibly good fight. So I, I want to thank... <laughs> So I truly, as I was saying, want to thank all of these folks on the stage, uh, and, and especially, you know, my, my family who is here tonight. I'm so proud of them. And I want to thank also the, the men and women from the wonderful company that I helped grow, World Wrestling Entertainment, because without them, I could not be standing here on this stage tonight. So I want to thank them. And of course, I'd like to thank my husband, Vince, who stood beside me and behind me all the way through this. He's very shy. He doesn't want to come out. <laughs> uh, but, but this was, this campaign, I look back on with no regrets. I don't think we left a stone unturned I don't think we uh, would have done anything differently in the campaign. I really had an incredibly amazing campaign staff, from strategist to our campaign manager to all of those people who worked in the field, our communications people, and all and all of the thousands of volunteers who worked so hard in our field offices all over the state. I thank you for that. We made m over a million phone calls, probably I think it's almost two million phone calls, knocked on over a, mi a million doors, and that was with volunteers, it was with interns, it was with paid staff, but it was an incredibly well-run, hard-fought race. I have called Congressman Murphy, Senator-elect Murphy, and I have congratulated him on his victory tonight. I hope and I ask him to please continue to work hard for the people in our state so that we can get those 170,000 people who woke up this morning without a job, get them to work, so that we can put policies in place in Washington that will reduce our taxes and grow our economy. And I sincerely hope that he will do that and work with the rest of the Connecticut delegation. We can only hope, we can only support him and our other members of our delegation who are serving us in Washington, and they need to hear from us. They need to know what they need to do, so it is our responsibility now. And listen to me, please. Everyone listen to me for a minute. It is our responsibility to charge them, to challenge them, to make sure they hear what we say, and to make sure that they are doing what we need because they work for us. And, and if we let them forget that, shame on us. Because we need to voice our concerns. And we need to say what we need. And uh, I'm looking forward to be helpful in that regard. 
So I just, so let me just once again thank all of you so much for being here tonight, for being on the campaign trail, and for believing in me and having confidence in me. And we came, you know, we, 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 we had a good, a good race, and, uh, and I'm really proud of the effort that we had. So again, thank you all very, very much, and I'll see you soon.